Hey folks, Mr. Mitchell here. Welcome to the third in a series of seven videos where we look at the derivations that you need to know for the advanced higher physics exam. In this video, we look at how to derive an expression for escape velocity from the astrophysics topic. So let's get into it. Remember the equation for escape velocity is given on the relationship sheet in the exam, and it's this one here, v escape is equal to root 2gm over r, but we need to show how to get there. So how do we do that? Well, it's worth thinking about the definition of escape velocity, which remember is the minimum velocity required by a mass to just escape from a planet's gravitational field and reach infinity with zero velocity or zero kinetic energy. And that means we can start off by saying that by conservation of energy, the total energy of the object on the planet's surface is equal to the energy at infinity, which is zero by the definition of escape velocity. So that means we can say the total energy, which is just the sum of the kinetic and potential energies at that point at the planet's surface, will be equal to zero joules. So that means we can write Ek plus Ep is equal to zero, and that's our starting point. What you then want to do is substitute in the expressions for kinetic and potential energy for an object of mass m, and both of these are on your relationship sheet. So we have Ek is equal to a half mv squared, and we also have Ep, the gravitational potential energy, is equal to minus gmm over r. So if you substitute in these two expressions, we get this thing here, a half mv squared plus minus gmm over r is equal to zero, where big m is the mass of the planet and r is its radius. And remember, little m is the mass of the object. Then what you can do is take the negative expression over to the right hand side. So if we add the gmm over r to both sides here, so because we've technically got a half mv squared minus gmm over r is equal to zero because the negative term dominates here, then that means we can add gmm over r to both sides. So we get half mv squared is equal to gmm over r, and then cancelling the little m's from both sides will give us a half v squared is equal to gm over r, and then rearranging for v squared, we can just multiply both sides by two to get rid of this half fraction here, and that gives us v squared equals 2gm over r, but remember, we want an expression for escape velocity, v not v squared. So what we finally need to do is take the square root of both sides to obtain v escape is equal to root 2gm over r. Where g, remember, is your universal constant of gravitation from the data sheet, capital M is the mass of the planet, and little r is the radius of the planet. So just to recap, you want to start off with this expression here, Ek plus Ep is equal to zero, which just tells us that the total energy is the sum of the kinetic and potential energies at the planet's surface, and that is equal to zero joules at infinity by the definition of escape velocity. What you then want to do is substitute in the two expressions for kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy from the relationship sheet to get a half mv squared plus minus gmm over r is equal to zero, and then you can add this term over to the right hand side to get a half mv squared is equal to gmm over r. You then want to cancel out the m's and multiply by 2 on both sides to get v squared equals 2gm over r before finally square rooting the term to get v escape. So we end up with v escape is equal to the square root of 2gm over r. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.